Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, today it's another tying session with me, Jonas Andersson. Um, I'm gonna uh, do um, another Green Highlander. I noticed I did some uh, uh, wrong steps in the, in, in the beginning of the fly where I was tying in hand. So I'm quickly gonna tie one in the vise. Uh, to correct that, uh, it should be red and teal, uh, which uh, yeah, I, I mismatched uh, the pattern. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so basically I already attached um, the thread to the hook. And uh, we need to start with the silver tinsel, small uh, silver oval. So. And quite a noisy today upstairs. Neighbors, kids are going ballistic. There we are. Just tying it in real quick. Turns. What about the zoom? There we are. Tying up a little bit of base before I add the silk. Perfect. And actually I need to go and get all the stuff. I forgot to put it on the table. Okay, so let's continue. I have the yellow silk. So I'm just gonna attach that one. There we are. Now we'll try to keep focus on the with the focus of the camera. The dog is snoring. And I'm gonna use gloves for the silk just to make sure I don't ruin the shine of it. So, putting the gloves on. Silk. Securing it with a few wraps of thread. And then removing the gloves. 
<laughs> so if you have any questions etc just add it in the comment section below this video I make sure to answer all the questions if there are any or suggestion on other patterns you want me to tie I'm cutting the leftover of the silk here going backwards just building up a small foundation for the tail So I did manage to find another one. So let's try to tie that one in instead. And that is much better. So let's side in there. Cut the leftovers. with the thread then we have red and teal in this case I'm using ibis And there we are, good time point. I use quite a lot of lights, I can see myself. I'm sorry for that. So, spot on. Adding some black wax. Going back again. And now it's time for the ostrich herd. Return secured. Then I just push it back a little, little bit. I cut the leftovers off. So going back with the thread again here, and there I'm gonna add a white silver oval tinsel let me do it that way the right way
so just building up a little bit of foundation we're gonna have some more uh, yellow floss here not too much It's okay. Little bit of wax. And then we have the floss, the silk. So I'm just tying it in properly. And once again, time for the gloves. <laughs> Dog is snoring. So let me get that one off. And then here we're going to add the green body hackle. So I'm just going to play with it a bit first, so I'm going to fold it over itself, doubling uh, the fibers. Almost done. A little bit more. There we are. I'm just going to wax the thread again and then uh, add the hackle to the hook. Get the left leftovers. And 
Now the fun part. Seal fur. And of course it should be green. I don't do a dubbing loop because I want to be able to brush it out properly. Then that, that's me. Just brushing out some fibers. I want it to be, you know, a good one. So, cleaning up the desk. Then we go for the tin cell. And it's a large silver tin cell. Oval, of course. Yes, she's carrying it. Have a look. Yeah. the leftovers there, tying the last parts in and then it's time for the hackle and the body hackle, lovely green color. So finishing with two wraps in the front, just to give it a little bit more volume. That's how I do it. And then cut the leftovers.
And there we are. Nice wide body. You can rub a little bit more if you like to. And then we have the front tackle, that should be yellow one. It's a perfect day, time flies on, it's raining and quite windy. I think we're gonna have a storm later. So perfect. Maxing the thread a little bit more. <clears throat> so let's tie in the front tackle then. As you can see, I'm folding it backwards on both sides. So, one, the last turn here before I tie it in. Cutting the leftovers. And this time we're gonna wax the thread but black. front so let's add the mid wing so waxing the thread a little bit and then I have prepared these uh, tippets There we are. So, gently, we're gonna attach them to the hook. And, spot on. So, I'm gonna take some time building the wing and then I'm gonna make start the camera again when I'm mounting the wing okay so now it's time to set the wing I built it uh, offline so to say
not all satisfied it did split on this side so let me try to change that Set the wing. Now it's much tighter, I'm more happy with it. I'm just gonna work on it a little bit. And there we are. Just gonna remove a few strands from the front tackle. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the mallard now and then the GC. So And I do the GC on that side as well. And then I do my side offline and then I prepare the topping and then I start the video again. with that so I'm gonna continue on my side okay so it's topping time so I prepared uh, the topping and also did cut all the leftovers so let's add the topping There it is, topping on. So just a few wraps with the thread, adding some more uh, black uh, backs. And 
adding the horns. So I start with my side. Position. One hole in place. Try to add the other one. to match the length there we are holds in place So just tying everything in properly. I'm gonna wax a few, sorry, varnish a few times, um, and then finish off the head. So I'm not gonna do do that in the video. I'm gonna do it offline and then shoot the picture of the fly and uh, yeah, then uh, make the movie. So. That's how I uh, tie a fishing fly, a green highlander, in this case uh, the, the hardest style. Um, I did actually add a mallard on it, I think in the pad, it's not mallard, but it looks nicer. Um, so if you like what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm also gonna add uh, playlists uh, to other videos uh, on that side. And um, yeah, uh, please hit subscribe, hit the bell button thumbs up if you feel like and if any comments you know any patterns you want me to tie or anything in particular just reach out to me um, otherwise see you in the next video uh, i need to figure out what to tie next um, have a nice weekend bye